guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and y'all we are talking favorites this week we're celebrating my one year on youtube we love to see it and the last favorites video i did was a combination video so it had all of them in the same so if you're interested in seeing that you can go ahead and watch it it was from spring 2020 so i figured why not go ahead and give the people what they've been asking everybody has been asking what some of my favorite products are so that's what we're doing today and today we're talking leave-in conditioners one of the most important steps in your styling day so yes please go ahead and subscribe join our kinky crew family we would love to have you and go ahead and check out my first video because there's a special little surprise so yeah, you guys, let's go ahead and talk leave-ins. I got to tell y'all, this is the biggest category that I have so far because I love leave-in leave -in conditioners. And I think that it's a really important step in my wash day, at least, because y'all know that I'm a gel girl and you need to have some moisture up under those gels. So first, we're going to go ahead and talk about the leave-in conditioners that I don't currently have in my stash. As y'all can see, I have a stupid amount of products and I've been working diligently to use up products. So I have three leave-in conditioners that I have already finished up, but I definitely will be repurchasing as soon as I get the chance, okay? So the first two leave-ins are actually from the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line. If you're not new around here, you guys know I absolutely love that line. So the first is the Detangler. I am absolutely obsessed obsessed with the detangler um it's thick it's creamy the moisture is stupid okay the moisture is stupid however what i will say about that is that you have to be very careful about what you pair this product with because it's a little finicky it's a diva you know so it likes to be the star of the show so just make sure that you're testing to make sure that that works with whatever product that you're trying to pair it with but that leave-in is absolutely a staple hands down love that one and another favorite is the spray leave-in from that same Cream and Asia Pure Honey line. It works out phenomenally for me. I thoroughly enjoy. It's a nice, cute, lightweight leave-in. It works really, really well with um, the twisting cream, which y'all know I'm obsessed with the twisting cream. But it's also a good spray leave-in when you're testing out other products or, you know, you have a gel or a styler that likes to flake but you still wanna have a little layer of moisture. I love that spray leave-in. Okay, you guys, so the last product that I don't have here with me is from Alake Naturals, and it is the lemongrass leave-in. Now, you guys, I have not tried a whole lot from Alake Naturals, and I would love to, but I need to go through it and get through some of my stash, but I am absolutely obsessed with that lemongrass leave-in, so much so that I'm thinking about buying the 16 ounce. I absolutely love that spray leave-in and everybody here on YouTube seems to love it too. It is a perfect mix between a spray and a cream in the same way as the um, Cream of Nature Pure Honey is. I love both of them equally and will be, they'll both be in my stash at one point again. Mm -hmm. Okay y'all, so the next spray leave-in that I have is from Shea Moisture. This is the Coconut Oil Leave-In Treatment. So y'all, spray leave-ins usually really do not work for me. I know that y'all probably think that I'm crazy because once your hair gets past a certain point, when your density gets past a certain point, when that curl pattern gets a little kinkier, mm -hmm, it starts to get hard with a spray leave-in. But this right here, I've bought like four of these. <laughs> y'all, I've bought like four of these and I've put endless amounts of people on. I love this spray leave-in. I love... I love it. I love it. I love it. It works so well for me. Even though it's light, it still gives me a ton of moisture. A ton of moisture. I constantly am reaching for this when I'm testing out a new product or even for a video when I'm trying a styler that I may not, you know, know too well or that I've had problems with before. This spray leave-in is my go-to every time every time and another thing that i will say is that this is a great refresher i this leave-in best ten dollars i spent love this leave-in okay y'all so if you've been watching um, my week of favorites you guys can see the theme there's certain brands that 
just really work for my hair. And one of those brands is Camille Rose. Camille Rose works well for my hair. I don't love everything, but this leave-in, I absolutely do. This is from the Coconut Water Leave-In Hair Treatment. I, I love... <clears throat> I love this product. Now, I know that people are obsessed with the Curl Love. I've never tried the Curl Love. This is the only actual leave-in I've tried from Camille Rose. I do have the one from the Lavender Collection, which I will be doing a review, but I feel like those are more winter products. Like, they seem heavier to me. So, you guys will get a review on those. But this right here, it is a looser consistency but it's still a cream but y'all the moisture the slip the shine the hydro y'all this product is so good it is like 14 dollars, i want to say but this is the same bottle i've been using forever and a little bit really does go a long way this leave-in it's the truth it's the, like what else can i say this leave-in is good Okay, y'all, so next I have a product from Honey's Handmade. This is, again, from that Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 2. That Edition 2 box did what it needed to do for my hair. That box, that has probably been my favorite box so far. I have all of the boxes, but that second box was hits, no misses. So this is their Melba's Hair Stuffing Decadent Daily Moisturizer. I have never tried a product from Honey's Handmade that I love like this. And y'all know that I love, I stand Honey's Handmade. I will call out Honey's Handmade when they be on that bull. But this right here, this leave-in, I feel like this is how people feel about that coconut water leave-in. Mine's went bad before I was able to get a chance to try it. I do want to pick it up. But this, this leave-in is... <laughs> Y'all, it's been the same jar, but I'm only just now getting to about halfway. It smells so good. The moisture is there. Like, and when I, I put it in, it gives me some curl definition. It gives me curl, no styler. No styler, it gives me curl definition. This leaving, Miss Valencia did that. Uh-huh, she did that. Mm -hmm. And I wish that they would make this a part of the permanent collection because I'm going to have to buy their whole stock when they bring this back. This is, this is good. Okay. Real good. Okay, you guys. So I only have two more leave-ins for you, but they're two of my loves of my life. Okay. So this next one is a really good affordable option. This is from the KC by Caracare um, Moisturizing Leave-In. Y'all. y'all i feel like i keep making the same faces and expressions because these really are a lot of my favorite products like these are my favorite products and whenever i need a cute leave-in to go over something or i'm trying a new product i really reach for these products because they're really the truth this leave-in y'all is gone i have one use out of there y'all see that pan in there y'all see that i have one use in here i absolutely love this leave-in conditioner and i want to say it's $6.99 or so and you get 11.2 ounces you have to go pick this up you you have to go pick this up this leave-in conditioner is so so good um it does have like a odd consistency for a leave-in it reminds me a lot of the texture id styling cream which i personally wasn't a fan of but this this leave-in there's moisture and there's shine and a little bit goes a long way. And they're giving you 11 ounces in this jar. Like what else are we asking for? What else are we asking for? This right here, Care Care understood the assignment. Okay, you guys. And last but not least, I have another product here from Shea Moisture. This is the Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Curl Stretch Pudding. Now, what I will say is, is that I think they gave this product the wrong name. Because I really don't think that it stretches my curls out. However, the moisture in this jar, the, the moisture, <laughs> y'all, yeah. this is, this is my go-to winter leave-in every time. This leave-in, I would pick this up any day over the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I do have that in my stash and it was one of my favorite products at one point, but this has taken the cake. This 
it's so good it's 12 ounces and it says that it's meant for curly and coily shrinkage prone hair and like i said i don't think it battles it doesn't win over shrinkage for me for me it doesn't however the moisture they hit this right on the head usually girls with thicker kinkier hair need more moisture but this this works for us okay and i don't even have the thickest or the kinkiest type of hair but this anybody who asked me for a product recommendation this is the one this is the y'all this is the one it's affordable you can find it on the ground and the moisture is there like this is the one okay you guys so that wraps up today's favorites video i hope that you guys enjoyed let me know if these are some of your favorites or even what some of your favorites are down below i would love to know you guys know i try a bunch of products i like to experiment so yeah let me know what your favorite leave-ins are and i hope to see you guys back here tomorrow and for the rest of the week for the week of favorites i love you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye